All right, we're back. Hi, I'm Mark. My name's Chris. And after a long time of my name's also Keanu. Uh, after a long break, I it's contemplated been like four weeks. Suicide. It's, it's been like I, I literally went upstairs, used the washroom, yelled really loudly, and now my voice hurts. So. Yeah, and then now we're back. Uh, so everything's gonna go great from this point on. We're not gonna die at and all. And we're dead. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Like, oh, is there a secret pat? Oh, no. Didn't we already do that where we just, like, sat at a point and killed ourselves for a while to get cooler? Yeah, it wasn't on camera, but, like, <laughs> yeah. what was that for? Like, we got free levels for it, but yeah, then we started for, to look really for, horrible. like, Yoles. Yeah. Yeah. Side questy stuff. But I think if we take off our mask, our character looks horribly disfigured. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. We're a bit scarred. Looking like fucking, uh... Deadpool? Uh, I was gonna say that. Wade Wilson? No. Same character. <laughs> I, mean, I was gonna Google say from fucking... Five follow? Seal? Aerosmith. Oh. Steven Tyler? Yeah. Look at that. Steven Tyler. I don't know. <clears throat> what the fuck? I shouldn't have yelled. <clears throat> Doesn't make you feel. Uh, my throat hurts a little bit. Make you look a little bitch? Mm, yeah, probably. Okay. Who makes a portrait out of Skittles? Uh, <laughs> Steven Tyler in that seems, commercial? That seems to be pretty weird, eh? Pretty dope commercial, actually. Pretty dope! Uh, later, bitch. Ow. Later, bitch. So it just spawns behind you? Eventually. Save me! I think I'm gonna start watching Game of Thrones. Why? Um, there's a lot of, like, positive Comes around back it. up, careful. It's, everybody says it's really good, and when I say I haven't watched it, people lose their fucking minds. Is this true? Isn't that peer pressure? Yeah. For the same reason pressure. I started smoking and drugs and drinking. And that is true. Mark, Mark is a mess. <laughs> and suicide. All the cool kids were doing it. Unsuccessful suicides. Oh, I should probably... Clarify. Yeah, I should probably go move the rope. People might not know. That feel when you fucked up mm -hmm. killing yourself. The real Mark would never pass him a chance to die. <laughs> God, can I? So I jumped off a bridge. A train bridge. There was water under there it. There was water underneath, yes. Can I tell you how fucking... Because there is... It's not just like a walk up. You don't just walk up to the pillar that I was on and jump off, right? You have to climb up a fucking bridge. Also, to get down to the water, it's like this... Dirt path. Yeah, it's that really sketchy. I slipped on. Yeah. You're like, okay. So I climbed up this bridge. I'm climbing, suspended in the air, 30 feet in the air, on these metal, these thin metal beams with holes through them that I can see the ground beneath me. Climbing towards a part that's safe to jump off of. And I was, we were there with some friends. And <clears throat> what ended up happening is I went up with another friend, and he looked down and he said to me, "Man, nice there are friends. Oh. This." This looks really, uh, this looks dangerous. I'm like, yep, and just jumped. I didn't even think about it. And he just yelled, he's like, Mark, no! <laughs> you did yell a bit, though, halfway. You're like, fuck! <laughs> yeah. And then splash. Yeah. I, I have this terrible thing. I don't, to do certain things, I cannot think. So, with roller coasters, I'm terrified of roller coasters. But I don't register what I'm doing until I'm on, and I'm going up, and I'm like, it's yeah. too late to stop now. I've become too powerful to be stopped. <laughs> it's just it's so terrifying for me. Uh. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself a thrill seeker, Mark? I th consider myself stupid. <laughs> Is that hand in hand? Sometimes? <laughs> um, certain times, yes. So I feel like some of the things people do is just like, that would never be on my list of, like, the bucket list, I guess. Well, today, because... today was really strange because... We went. Everybody who was there was there for the first time. Yeah. And you had heard about it before. Oh God. Yeah. What What really happened was we got there and someone mentioned, "Hey, I think you can climb up there and jump off the bridge." Sounds so, good to me. So I'll like, go up. Let's go. Let's do it. Rock on. And it it is dangerous. It is so dangerous. Um, I mean, the, the, like, never family, do that. A, a, like a dad and his two kids showed up. And then, like, the small kid was up there. I'm like, oh, God. Uh, yeah, well, he the, the dad die. was kind of a dick. Was he? Yeah, did you not hear him? No. Oh, he was, um, we have a friend who's also, like, kind of heavier set. Hmm. And when he went to jump, the guy's like, oh, you better not fucking, like, land too close. I don't want him to soak my phone from here, am I right? <laughs> and 
And I was like, dude, you that's really rude oh, of you to say. Oh, there's also a creepy thing he said, actually. What? Where um, I was rec- I was going to record you, right? Yeah. And he, like, um, who you're mentioning was, like, climbing towards you guys to jump yeah. off. And he's like, oh, get, the, like, the phone ready, because if he dies, I want this on camera. I'm like, oh, that's actually really yeah, that's creepy. fucked up, man. Maybe he's just, like, a fucking little bitch. He's an asshole. The ladder, there's also, like, this ladder set up so you can run off it and grab this rope. Oh, yeah, that's not a good thing. And fly off. The ladder is not set up for that at all, so it's very rickety. Yeah. We had, Locks had to be put down to hold it. Yeah. Like, nothing is, like, sound about that. We design. had one friend who was able to swing flawlessly, and because, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm the person who, like, I can't think when I do things like that, so I have to act. I jumped, grabbed the rope, slid down the rope, gr- hit the rocks and the water on the way through. It was, it, like, and I thought, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I came out completely unscathed, gashed my leg out. Like, I have cuts all over my legs and shit, it's awesome. That thing was Did gross. Did we just get slime rape? Yeah, yep. gross. Yuck. Ew, they're everywhere. Yep. Can you kill them? Are they enemies? Yeah, you can kill them. Is it just, like, not worth the time? Holy shit, these, these guys are wheels! Yeah. Like that character in Twisted Metal, that was a wheel. Yeah. Twisted Metal was dope. Yeah. We should play Twisted Metal. Yeah. My hopefully, cousins used to add that game, and it was really weird. Hopefully the next Twisted Metal game is good. The next one? Uh, they released one a couple years ago. It was really bad. Yeah. <laughs> I watched, like, all the Keanu, endings you seem really tense right now. Yeah. Don't speak. <laughs> you lost? No. Uh, you just trying to escape? Yeah. Fuck! Is there an item over there? Mm. There's a huge rat. That yeah. looks very diseased. Yeah, it's probably fucked up. Am I getting invaded? I'm getting invaded, aren't I? Is it because it's auto saving? No, he's like an invader. Oh, not embered up. Hey, we're not gonna get invaded. Yay! Should we get him invade us though? So we can get this thing. Oh! How can you tell before it happens? Because I just know. Oh. What deity? So how can you actually tell? Uh, you can't. Oh. Uh. So you just had a feeling? I just know. I mean, you were wrong, so... Just gonna... We're on Ember, though. Just... Ow. Just gonna look this up. So pretty much a skeleton becomes a cool, like a badass skeleton if he puts a hood over his head. <laughs> He's yeah, like, I, I know so. how to fight hardcore now. Like, I guess you deflected his attack, but it didn't look like anything happened. And then you just stabbed him through the chest. Weird. Yep. Oh, it's gonna stop being a little bitch. Fuck. Oh shit, son. You are about to die. So I broke my PS3 controller. Oh, yeah. whoa, wait, what? What? What, you broke your PS3 controller? I mean, I dropped it. Oh, and it just broke over time. And I'm like, oh yeah, shit. I mean, sometimes I'll do it, like with phones, I guess, right? Yeah. You just keep dropping it, like, oh crap. Can't really buy a case, unless I haven't heard about it. Mm-hmm. But, like, I kept dropping it, and I finally guess it just dropped it really hard. And it, like, broke the analog in a way that I couldn't fix it. <laughs> So instead of like trying to repair it, I had another one, so I'm like, eh, I'll just keep it and like spray paint it gold. So I'm trying to like make a case for it and everything and put it on my shelf. So we have like the golden PS3 controller? Yeah. Nice. So the yeah, yeah, we're making that into the trophy. Yeah, no. I mean, I'll just keep it forever, but like, whatever. For the... Can I talk about it? I don't give a fuck. We have a tournament plan. And we're gonna Twitch stream it. And it's hey. going to be a lot of fun. Oh, wait, we were? Yeah, we're going to Twitch stream it. We're going to have a lot of people playing all at once, and then we're going to have people announcing it. It's going to be like an actual... It's going to be an actual tournament setup. And we're just... We're, we're currently waiting because, A, we haven't figured out a set date we want to do this on yet, and, B, there's no way I'm going to be able to record and stream With on internet. my current internet connection. Yeah. But, however, we do have the space now and the setup, as well as the televisions, to do what we have in mind. Mm-hmm. And, like, I, I think it's going to be a great time. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of great people coming in and playing. Some people who watch this, some people who don't, who are coming in and playing with us and against us. A lot of actual, like, really good competitors. And we all can get fucking bodied. I mean, I think a couple of them are actually good enough to fight us. Not me, though. 
Mm, yeah, you. I'm shady. I mean, like, you win when it counts. <laughs> when it counts. <laughs> See, Justin's really good. Justin is so good at Smash, but he... Ha- he, he if we're recording... Pressure. Yeah, if we're recording or we're in a tournament, Justin will lose. He That'd cannot handle it. Ow. Uh, just, yeah, Justin cracks under pressure. You might get smacked in the face. Oh. Yeah, Justin cannot... <laughs> Oh, you ran into it. Oops. Yeah, I did. A little bitch. Yeah, Justin cracks yeah. so hard. See, this is like, oh, tournament time. He's like, what have I become? He's like, I can counter. <laughs> yeah. But also, I learned new tech, so like. What is. Is this tech you're going to share with us, or is this friendship. a hidden ability? I mean, you can find it on the internet, but like. You're not going to tell us? No. Because then we'll know and we'll. Be able to fight. The only time I've gotten like actual respect from Kiana was one time when I badmouthed him and he badmouthed me and we got really intense so we first to five. And I bought you. Okay. Give me a second here. Because <laughs> I ended bought. up I ended up going we it was like it was three oh on your part, and I got three up and then you beat me. But it was like so tense for the last few matches where eventually like you you looked at me for the first time ever and you're like, Good game, man. And I was like, he he meant that. <laughs> he actually fucking meant that. And Mark cried himself. <laughs> I, like that's why I wasn't actually mad after fucking the loss. Bridge, fucking fall, <laughs> this, fall. This might be bad. Oh boy! Wait, you got a couple seconds, then it'll. Uh... Fuck. There, there you go. Whew. <laughs> I was kind of yeah. Look at all those fucking guys. <laughs> There's like a ring you can put on, which like hides the distance between you and the enemies and stuff. I saw a video where this dude's just hanging out here and you'll like just camp people. Yeah. And then as soon as they run across the bridge with like their party or whatever, you'll just chop it away and they'll just die. Because they can't see him across the bridge, right? Unfortunate. So. Okay. Yeah. I want to get into Game of Thrones. Mm hmm. I'm looking at a box set right now that's seasons one through five. Mm-hmm. All available seasons on box set until season six comes out later this year. Mm hmm. What. What price range do you think would be fair to pay for that? I don't know. A lot of money, probably. How, mu- how much would you think is fair? At HMV, you can get um, Futurama seasons, like two for 30. Yeah. They usually sell season, like season, uh, like a single season for like 20 bucks or something. Of Game of Thrones? No, just like on okay. average. See, I'm of talking seasons. about. Because certain. certain it's also newer, for much right? higher, right? Yeah. Because Dragon Ball Z still goes for like sixty to seventy a box set, but that's also because it's like also older and harder mm-hmm. to find as well. So, what do you think would be an appropriate price to pay for five, five seasons? seasons of a show that's currently running two hundred dollars? That's what I'm playing for. It is that reasonable? I think that's uh, reasonable. Like, I think that's reasonable. Probably. So, apparently, it's an amazing show. It's apparently, like I will love it. And this is all on Blu-ray too. Huh. It's like forty dollars a season, right? Yeah, it's not that bad, eh? Okay. Although my biggest problem with it is, I'm like, would that look cool on the shelf? <laughs> like, I'll have like one to five, and all of a sudden I'll have the ind- seasons individually afterwards, right? Because yeah. the worst part is, if I fucking invest this much into the show, it doesn't matter if I like it anymore. I'm finishing it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, flat out. The reason I never bought The Walking Dead is because I like at a certain point I don't really like it, but I, I, I still f- fucking watch every season without question. It's so frustrating. Your mom only likes The Walking Dead. I know. Does she like, she like The Walking Dead or just Norman Reedus? I don't... She loves The Walking Dead. Both? Okay. Um, Game of Thrones seasons go on their own for about 50 to $70 a piece. That's pretty good. How does I that think work? For I mean, I guess that's good it's then. It's a deal, because yeah. you got yeah. deal and stuff. Yeah, it's also a UK import, so it comes with like, all these specialty specials and stuff. Yeah. It's really neat stuff. I'm really excited for it. So I'm probably going to order that very soon. Very soon. I feel like we kind of went to like Game of Thrones is like, eh. It's okay to like. I need everything. Yeah, well, like, like zero to a hundred really fast. I I don't know. I've been looking into it bit by bit. Yeah. But the problem, like, if there's this, I need content, right? You can also like, this might be really foreign, but like, you can go to like the library and they'll like rent out, yeah, not I rent can't, out, I can't like, own it, right? I know, but I'm saying like, try it out first before you get it, right? Oh, well, too late now. What do you mean? Did you just buy it you on the spot? You can order things off your phone. Ah, oh, <laughs> As we're talking about this, I have already bought it. I'm like, what seems like a good price to pay? Two hundred dollars seems right. Yeah. That's that when you clicked it. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Yeah, but like that's how I learned about like the first cup. I actually I went back and finished like the second episode because I got like through like an episode and a quarter or something, and I'm like, mm. maybe not. And then I'm like, oh, I'll give it another try, and I finished the second episode. And I'm like, eh. 
You're not, not having much of it? No, not overly. It's not what I was expecting. That's fair enough. There's this show called Vikings, though, which seems pretty cool, but it's also one of those shows that I'm like, it's probably, like, really developed by now. Yeah. My girlfriend's father really likes the Vikings. He says it's a great show. Oh, yeah? yeah. It's probably terrible. Um, no, apparently, I've seen a couple episodes. It doesn't seem that bad at all, actually. Hmm. Although, he has a problem with, uh... He, he never... He does not do commercials, period. Mm-hmm. Does but it's peculiar, because he doesn't, like, do Netflix or anything. He just doesn't like commercials. So what he'll do is he'll pick two channels. Mm-hmm. Then he'll... When a commercial comes out, he flicks to yeah, the other channel. Yeah, my dad does that a lot. But then sometimes they'll both do commercials. And he'll be like, Oh, no, boy! And he'll like, <laughs> start skimming through. And it's like, why don't we just patiently wait? Oh, no. And then boy. her mom one time... He, he got mad because everybody was on their phones and he, he was like, you know, like we need to have a day where we just sit down and hang out as a family in the living room and don't get on our phones. Can they watch TV? And, and, he, and he, what we what her, her, her mom's rebuttal was, okay, can we watch one show? And then everybody, <gasps> oh, <laughs> and then everybody, everybody goes quiet for a bit and everybody just pulls their phones back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, ice. Oh, it was so good. Nice. Family's so excited. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, that was fucking yo. That was fucking yeah. godlike. We watched one show. <laughs> he, oh, so good. We all just pull our phones and go back to what we're doing. Just another boss. Yeah. But she, yo, like that was fucking body. Whenever you ember up, I kind of get a feeling. Okay, we need to be prepared for this. Fucking prepare your fucking jimmies, cause we're fucking going in. This is kind of creepy. <laughs> Does the boss have anything to do with skeletons? Uh, I mean, judging kinda, by the Kind of getting a feeling of uh, yeah. this oh, world I mean, and the skeleton chalice. I mean... I mean... Are they know. semi-skeleton? I mean... Just like, it's just flesh. It's like, come on! No, there's like, it's just a mound of flesh. No, I mean, Oh, I know this boss! Oh, this is fucking creepy. Are you guys ready? I know this boss for... No. Is that a hand? Is that the hand the right there? The spookiest... So much spoop! Scary ah, skeleton! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> God! Oh, so much spoop. Did we get teleported somewhere? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Why? So much spoop. He's so cool, though. He doesn't see you, though. He's just kind of hanging out. And then oh, he sees him. Attacking him. You know, it doesn't make sense. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, what's up? So, like... Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck, I hate that really, move. Really random... Really... Can you run so the other way? No. When you no. break a bone... Yes. It hurts because... The you surrounding flesh around it is injured, right? No, uh, I don't know. You well, broke a bone. Is there nerves in bones, though? There's I don't think so. No. But apparently, uh, cutting a bone is one of the most painful things in the world. I'm not a scientist. Is it because like I'm you're ripping everything? Up. You're asking if you're ripping everything around to get to the bone to cut it is what's painful. Is that what you're saying? Um. See. The th- what I'm saying is because when you break the bone, the surrounding area around the bone gets pushed and moved, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that is oh, that fuck. what hurts? Well, and if so, why do, or why are things like why is it when you go in? So I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna look why. I'm just gonna be like, do bones have nerves? And then Google's gonna call me an idiot. Get good scrub. Apparently, I'm not the only person who fucking looks at this because it's. <laughs> Trying to see what's best for the boss. Oh, well, I accidentally used our things. Oh. What? Okay, so they have uh, they have cells, nerves, blood vessels, and pain receptors. Beautiful. So that's why it hurts. Uh, it, a lot of, apparently a lot of, um, there's a lot of misconception about bones early on in the science, medical field. Yeah. Is that it was all dead tissue or just um, inactive tissue. So like just a s- solid state, but it's actually just, it's more and most certainly part up. of your body. And like... Like, in the past, amputation's kind of messed up. Yeah. Because they'd just be like, here, hold this in your mouth so you don't yell, and then I'll just saw at it. It's to clench. Yeah. It's... So you don't break your teeth? Yeah, or your jaw or something. Yeah. It's, yeah. Also so that you don't have to hear someone yelling as you saw into them, I guess. Yeah, I mean... Is what my main thought was. Oh, have you guys ever seen Black Hawk Down? No. no. It's a great film. <laughs> There's a really sad scene, though, where a character gets shot, and they're trying to stop the bleeding, because it gets hit in the artery, so they're trying to put a clamp on it. Oh, yeah. I know you're talking about it, And they're yeah. pulling it out, and it's, like, really, really brutal. And then, as they go to clip it, it slips out of the guy's fingers and shoots back up his leg. Oh. Mm-hmm. So they can't get it anymore. It's too high up. Huh. So, and then the guy's like, did, did you get it? And like, yeah, man, we got it. Just relax. And the guy fucking dies on the table. Because hmm. they couldn't save him. 
Hmm. It's a, it's one of the war. I I hate war films that yeah, portray like war films that are just you know it's like oh too real. It's like no no no. I hate it when they're like oh we're heroes. You know they're like oh like two guys walk in and just kill a million people. Like we're like we're gods. I love the war films like Black Hawk Down where think bad things happen. And it's not just like what like like the Delta Squad gets called in like oh we're say it's Delta Squad no Delta Squad gets fucked up too, like it's just it's a harsh film. Mm-hmm. Like that. Sp- yeah yeah you're Delta Squad. <laughs> <laughs> but, didn't I think I heard a lot of negative stuff about like um, uh, the American Sniper or something? Yeah, how it was a lot of just like pro America and not a lot of you're killing innocent people. Yeah. So I think they have that. A lot of the times as well. But mm-hmm. I just don't like... I mean, in anime, I guess, for some reason, it's excusable to me to just be like, oh yeah, he killed a bunch of people, who cares? But I guess when it's, like, real... They're portraying real people yeah. killing real people in yeah. historical events. It's like, okay, that's kind of messed up. Yeah. Um, I like I like any show that portrays death with meaning. Mm-hmm. Or because one of the problems anime has a lot of the time is that like faceless people that they can just hack through. Well, no, it's that death has no weight because characters don't really die. Yeah, they stay alive forever. Especially Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. (laughs) Why are you making a big deal? Freaking Dragon Balls after this. Don't worry about it. Just go all out. Doesn't matter. So like Dragon Ball Z Fairy Tale has it too. Where like every character that is assumingly dead is probably alive in Fairy Tale, except for like one guy who I assume comes back eventually. But it's just. I hate that in a show when they just when they use death as like an emotional lore, but they don't want to upset the fans, so they bring the character back anyways. Yeah, I heard like and, fairy tale like the manga is very bloody and stuff. Yeah, but then the thing with like fairy tales manga is that they killed off a super important character. Yeah. Then some time stuff happens and they save him. I'm like, come on. I I think if it's like they kill someone off and like way down the way he's like revived as like a bad guy yeah and he's like undead or something you're like okay that's like cool. superhero-y yeah, like yeah but um doesn't yeah. happen in like Naruto like one guy gets revived like three times probably yeah. it's, it's just it's, there's only a few shows that don't do that yeah in a, like you know like or like another thing too is that certain characters have just a thick and heavy plot armor cause it's cause like like you said though you like you want to raise the stakes but in doing that, you don't want to get people don't want to upset their fans. Though. They they they're more they're the problem with modern television and modern shows and modern storylines is that people are more it, they care more about the show's ratings and the viewers than they do about telling a story story properly. I mean, it is understandable though, right? I like, can understand like they want the money, but if I told the story, I would want to tell it the way I envisioned it to be told. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, like behind that though is a lot of negative stigma. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The thing so. is though. Like you gotta think, Jesus Christ! Holy shows crap. like Full Metal Alchemist, a lot people, important people die. Yeah, and people get upset. And it's heart wrenching, and like, but at the same time, along with them though. But at well. the same time, you think to yourself, man, what, like, what would this show have been like without it? Because yeah. they use death as an actual proper plot structure. They don't use it just either to kill or just they kill an important characters and be like, this is what you should feel for these people. I feel like mainly with comic book though comic books though as well how they bring them back is like a lot of like supernatural yeah. or like alien stuff but like um Fullman Alchemist it's all like it shows you that you can't really bring these people back and you like, can try the, but it yeah, comes at such a price in a few episodes right yeah. so then when you do kill someone off you're like we could try to bring them back, but at, like, yeah. what cost? And and one, of the, and one of the characters cool. even says Can that. we just, like, shut up for, like, fucking a second? <laughs> oh, is this yeah. intense? Too much for you? <laughs> did, you ever, did you have problems with the guy in your first playthrough? No. I haven't played in, like, fucking three months. That Fair is enough. true. He, I'd be mad, too, if you were hacking off my silverware and my accessories. <laughs> Why'd you do so much damage at first? Because like, I broke, broke his bracelet. Because when you broke his bracelet, it goes, see? Nice. <laughs> That was really funny. <laughs> we just all shut the fuck up. He's like, okay, kid, I'm easy. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> I thought we were, like, doing you a I favor by just, like... Fuck. Yeah, we were fuck. Just... Oh, my oh, God. I, I thought you really... died. Oh, God. What is happening? Yeah, it's a sword. Nice. No. Like a dirk. Dirk a dirk, I'm behind you, huh?
I panicked for a second when you just stood there. I'm like, oh god, this is it. Oh shit, fam. I'm glad you're far enough so that none of that did anything. It's really intense. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend stopped by and dropped burgers off beside me and I can smell them. <laughs> oh, she's still here? Yeah, she's behind us. Oh, okay. Hi, Sydney. Hello. Oh, shit. Sweet. Fucking move your hand, little bitch. Do they call him the janitor because he's about to sweep? Yeah. yeah. But I say boy guard jump all the time. <laughs> oh shit. Fucking, Fucking shit. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, no, the, the thing is is that <laughs> one of the characters goes back and says, you know, I was thinking about this thing with human like human transmutation yeah. a while back. Now I'm thinking about doing it again. And people yeah. are like, no, don't fucking do that. Yeah. You crazy fucking person. <laughs> I am sorry, kid. That was <laughs> rough. But I like he jumped into it immediately <laughs> as soon as he died. Anyway. <laughs> Go uh, back to what we were talking about. Yeah, no, there's shows that do it really Jeez. well, and there's shows that don't. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was a really long and deep conversation. You want to try one more time, uh, friend? No, we're just going to fucking go back to the shrine, we're going to burn our shower, and we're going to fucking end the episode, because I'm fucking a little bitch. I'm sorry, Jana. <laughs> yeah. going to practice a bit? I don't know. I'm just going to fucking... I don't even know. We'll come back next time. We're going to fucking <laughs> contemplate suicide for a bit, oh, and then okay. we're going to, you know... Then we're going to come back, and then we're going to be the boss. We, like, we follow Keanu home, he just goes home and, like, throws all this Dark Souls stuff in the grass, like, goes onto his computer, like, deletes his images, and, like, deletes, like, unfollows all of his subreddits. He's like, he's like I don't deserve to be part of this anymore. I'm a little bitch. I'm a, I'm a fucking casual. I've become casual. I mean, in a way, Berserk is connected to Dark Souls, so... No, God, I can burn all my Berserk. <laughs> And Berserk's an anime. Gundam's also an anime. Well, <laughs> just burn his whole house down. <laughs> just see him, like, feet up with his shit. Yeah, yeah what happened? happened? Like, it's all he's just naked, too, because everything he had, like, he was able to Remind connect him. everything he has. It was like, my Opie sweater was oh, anime, too. I had to burn it. Mm. Light myself on fire. <laughs> just drink gasoline. I'm Wait, just, I'm a weeb. <laughs> no. Dun, dun, dun. This world is just a figment of my imagination. If I kill myself, you all die too, huh? <laughs> yeah! You're only scared because you're gonna die. No, I'm scared because you're gonna die. Scary stuff. Yep. Wait, what was the plan again? Well, we're gonna end the episode. We're gonna try one more time. <laughs> oh, right, let's do okay. it. Okay. Yep. Where are you going, Chris? Where are you going? I'm offering Sydney a pop. Okay. You want this? You want it? Said so you can say yes or no. She said thank you. Oh shit! Second time Sydney's talking recording. Pure fuck talk again though. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Demons! Ooh, spooky, scary. Skeletons. Yep, yeah, they send shivers down my fucking spine arena. Oh my cock. Oh my fucking dink. Wait, what? What? Huh? Hmm? The bitch. The bitch. I'm now looking. I, I use the word meticulous a lot to describe myself. Meticulous. And for the first time in my life, I'm second guessing it, so I'm like, what does meticulous actually mean? Like, this whole time I've been using it wrong. It's okay. No, no, I'm definitely meticulous, yep. Oh, I'm yeah. a meticulous collector. Hey, Mark, what's meticulous mean? Um, hold on. My fingers are not working for this. Is it because I climbed up something today and ruined my hands? Is your fingerprints getting all smudgy? No, that's it. That's definitely it. Um, mm. Showing great attention to detail, very careful and precise. Ah. I'm a very meticulous person. See, like, well, I know some things you won't bring things up because you're like, maybe I'm not 100% on this. You know, I feel like a better word to describe you would be little bitch, but like, whatever. <laughs> Those are two words. Faggot. No. Wasn't that what, this what you told you <laughs> told Mark when he was like get wrecked? <laughs> the, oh, I've heard it's Are you stuff. fucking kidding me? All right. Well, <laughs> this has been the fucking couch chat. See you fucking next time. Maybe fucking not. I don't know. We're gonna everybody fucking ever be here again. Maybe this is the last fucking little episode. Bitch. Fucking <laughs> little bitch. God damn it. Bye. I'm, my name's Kino, aka Little Bitch.